the Meta Quest 3. Smaller, faster, and a reasonable price and pancake lenses. <laughs> <laughs> the Quest 3 has been on the watch list for many VR enthusiasts like you and me and it's really interesting to see how Meta is stepping up the game for the VR market with this one in particular. Supposedly releasing the headset itself on the 10th of October which is in around two weeks. Yet there was one question that really was and still is stuck in my head. What does the release of the Quest 3 means for VRChat and its community? To actually see how the Meta Quest 3 could have an impact for VRChat we have to look at its specifications. The Quest 3 can be purchased for 500 bucks with with 128 gigabytes of storage or 650 bucks for 512 gigabytes of storage. Its display resolution sits by 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye which is around 30% the increase to what the Quest used to have and also comes with a field of view of 110 degrees horizontal and 96 degrees vertical and a refresh rate of 90 hertz with 120 hertz being experimental. The biggest improvements are the pancake lenses, the performance and generative lags. The third means meaning that the Meta Quest 3 will be able to estimate the lower half of your body to be tracked, kind of like standable VR but natively which is really impressive. Full body tracking estimation like this could have a great impact on how we're able to socialize with others and this also includes how we socialize in VR chat. Now I'm not sure if VR chat will support the native estimation of the Quest 3 since nothing has been said about it yet but I can imagine that this is gonna be supported in the future. The impact of the Quest 3 on VR chat can be huge, not only because of the Quest 3 having a lot more power in a processor that is more than twice as fast compared to the Quest 2 but it also can serve an even bigger purpose outside of VRChat which is definitely gonna attract new consumers and users to VR. And this is the huge selling point of this headset and possibly the reason it will have an impact on VRChat. More power, more tech and more ways to use this headset. Also another reason for the possible influx of new players for VRChat is that the Quest 2, the predecessor of the Quest 3, actually had a price drop a few months ago. dropping its price from $300 for a 128GB model and $349 for a 256GB model which is a lot more affordable for other people now. And of course it adds another VR headset on Meta's and possibly your shelf making it the third headset in the lineup of Meta. Honestly I'm really looking forward to the Quest 3 but also on how it will actually impact VRChat itself. The information I gave was more or less a speculation though I'm pretty sure that the launch of the Meta Quest 3 will not only have a huge boost in VRChat its player base but also invites more people into the niche of virtual reality in general. What do you think about the Quest 3 and do you think it will impact VRChat and boost its player base overall? Let me know down in the comment section, I'm really looking forward to what your opinion about this topic is. And that is all for the video, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel for more virtual reality related content like this and of course VRChat content as well. And huge shout out to my Ko-Fi members, Vifslags and Artemis, I really appreciate you guys helping out this channel and if you want your name at the end of my videos, go ahead and check out my Ko-Fi where you can support me with $3 a month alone. And as always, take care in the virtual as well as in reality, ciao ciao!